Hello and welcome to my beginner's tanking guide for the Protection Paladin in World of Warcraft Battle for Azeroth. In this video series we're going to be covering a variety of topics designed to help brand new Paladin tanks or those of you who have been tanking for a little while but maybe still feel like there's something that you're missing. We're going to go step by step, starting with an introduction to the Protection Paladin, then we're going to get in and look at each one of the spells in our spell book, as well as take a look at the core rotation for playing a Protection Paladin. Then we're going to get into our talent tree and create a passive talent build that's designed to let you focus on the fundamentals without adding too much complexity to what you're doing. We're going to see how that talent build affects our rotation, and then at the very end we're going to put everything together in a dungeon run. All sorts of goodies are going to be in the description box below. You'll find timestamps, links to all the other videos in this series, a link to the playlist that contains these videos, as well as any other supplemental information that I think is going to help you as you learn how to tank on the Protection Paladin. The pinned comment on this video is going to contain any updates or corrections that I have to the guide so that it can stay current for as long as possible. Alright, let's kick things off with our introduction to the Protection Paladin. Protection Paladins invoke the Holy Light to protect and heal their allies as well as incinerate their foes. They wear plate armor and use a variety of one-handed weapons along with shields to defend themselves and deal damage. When it comes to resources, the Protection Paladin does have access to mana. However, mana is not really a resource on the Protection Paladin because the majority of your spells and abilities use such a small amount that you don't really have to pay attention to it. It is worth noting, however, that if you do ever run out of mana, there will be spells and abilities that you aren't able to use. However, that shouldn't really happen. So, the main resource that you're really focused on as a Protection Paladin are your cooldowns. Most of your abilities are based on cooldowns and learning how to weave all those together so that you're always able to hit a useful button and that you have the abilities that you need to cast at the right moments is really where learning how to manage your resources comes into play on a Protection Paladin. Alright, that was a quick introduction to the Protection Paladin as well as an introduction to this video series. In the next video, we're going to be taking a look at all the spells in our spellbook and covering them in detail so that you can learn the ins and outs of how to play. If you feel like you're pretty familiar with the spells and abilities on the Paladin, you can go ahead and skip that. If you're completely unfamiliar, it's going to be a really good resource for you. And if you also feel like you're not quite sure how everything kind of works together and flows together, I'll talk about those different things in this video as well. So I won't just cover the basics of the spells, I cover the interactions and the relationships between them as well so that you can learn how to utilize those spells together and get the best synergies out of them and do your best job tanking. Thanks for watching! I encourage you to do all the YouTube stuff, like, comment, subscribe, and ring the bell if you enjoyed this video or this series of guides. Also, if you're interested, you can support the channel on Patreon at patreon.com slash setsuko, where you'll gain access to our Discord channel, behind-the-scenes footage, the opportunity to get involved with the direction of the channel, and more. You can also check out my website, setsuko.com, for even more content about all sorts of geeky, nerdy topics. I hope you're having fun in whatever it is that you're doing, and as always, I'll see you on the next video.